gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and the beauty of love, and to add our best wishes and blessings to the words that shall unite both you, Nicholas, and Angelina in holy matrimony. In a few short moments, the two of you will exchange your vows of marriage, each to the other, and I'd like to remind you both that although these vows are spoken in a matter of moments, these are promises to last for the rest of your lives. For marriage is a most honorable estate, and it signifies unto us a most blessed spiritual union. So may your marriage ceremony today be adorned by true and abiding love. For Angelina and Nicholas, to this day, each of you brings your love for one another as a treasure to share. And as you know, someone who loves us gives us a piece of themselves that only they can give. For loving someone is reason to reach beyond our limits. It is to become more for the sake of the other. It is to look into the soul of your beloved and accept all that you see. For there are many keys to love. I'm sure there is much that the two of you do know. There's probably much that you think you know. There's also going to be much that the two of you will learn in your journey together. So if there's any advice that I can depart upon the two of you, please let these words help you and guide you in your journey in life together. For a key to love is understanding. It's the ability to comprehend not only spoken words, but all of the unspoken gestures and all of those little things that mean so much. The key to love is forgiveness, to accept each other's faults and pardon the mistakes without forgetting but remembering the lessons you've learned. A key to love is sharing, facing all of your good fortunes as well as the bad together, but continuously and forever searching for ways to intensify your love and happiness. The key to love is giving, never with the thought of return, but with the hope of just a simple smile, and by sometimes giving in, but never giving up on each other. And finally, a key to love is respect. It is realizing that you are two separate people and that you have different ideas, but that you belong together because of the strong, loving, mutual bond that exists between the two of you. And you two are so very fortunate to have found one another and to be standing here together, hand in hand, pledging your life and your love to one another. Because the bond of love is something so very special that many people find, some cultivate, and some truly cherish, as the two of you will. And as we've heard many times throughout our lives, and we are reassured that love conquers all, love has conquered the two of you to bring you here to this day the union of your two hearts and your two spirits. And as your lives will continue to interweave, remember it was lo your love for one another that brought you to this day. It is your love for one another that will make this a glorious union. And it is your love for one another that will cause your union to last and endure. And this is now gonna be signified to the saying of your vows to one another. The saying of your vows is a binding spiritual commitment. It is the promise that binds you to do everything within your power to help one another grow despite any adversity, and for as long as you both shall live. It is a sacred vow, entering the two of you into a covenant relationship with one another. So Nicholas, I'm gonna ask you to please repeat your vows to Angelina after me. Okay. I, Nicholas, take you, Angelina. I, Nicholas, take you, Angelina. To be my loving wife. To be my loving wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part. Now, Angelina, I'm asked for you to please repeat your vows to Nicholas after me. I, Angelina, take you, Nicholas. I, Angelina, take you, Nicholas. To be my loving husband. To be my loving husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So death do us part. So death do us part. For Angelina and Nicholas, today the two of you are making a lifelong commitment to spend the rest of your lives together. And the combining of your lives is now going to be signified through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand, each representing all that you were, all that you are, and all that you are to be. The separate containers represent your lives to this moment that are individual and unique. And just as these grains of sand will never be able to be poured back into individual containers, so shall your life and that of your families be forever intertwined from this day forward. So now I'm going to ask you to please, a little sand there, Pour the sand together, symbolizing the joining of your lives. Oh, I like that you got red. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, babe. <laughs> babe, you spilled it. 
it's me. <laughs> just an outpouring of love in life. Yeah. <laughs> Too much love. <laughs> <laughs> That is a uh, messy love. Yeah, well, <laughs> you get the job done. Yeah. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll find some, like maybe not today or not now, just because the stands might be a little wet. Let's get some, and you might be able to do it tomorrow or whenever, get some sand from the beach to commemorate the location as well, and you can put that on the top. Sounds and good. And I'll try and get some dry sand. We'll do that later. All right, will the two of you please face one another? And Angelina, I'm at, Nicholas, I'm asking you to hold your hands, palms up. And Angelina, please hold his hands from underneath. So you may see the gift that his hands are to you. For these are the hands of your best friend that are strong and vibrant with love that are holding yours on your wedding day as he promises to love you for all the days of his life. For these are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future, as you laugh and you cry, and as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, some tears of sorrow, but many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through many years of a lifetime of happiness together. Now, Nicholas, will you please hold Angelina's hands, palms up. Nope. So you may see the gift that her hands are to you. For these are the hands of your best friend that are smooth and carefree, that are holding yours on your wedding day as she pledges her love and commitment to you for all the days of her life. These are the hands that will bring you a tender touch after you both have had a long, hard day. These are the hands that will hold you in joy and excitement through the happy times and hold you tight as you will struggle through some difficult times. These are the hands that will give you support as she encourages you to chase your dreams. And these are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through many years of a lifetime of happiness together. Now you can just join hands. For Angelina and Nicholas, please remember to treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves on a daily basis of what brought you together. Please never be afraid to hold one another's hand, a simple tender touch, a hug or a kiss, but most importantly, remind each other on a daily basis that you love one another with those three simple little words. Give the highest priority to the kindness and the tenderness that you know your connection deserves. For even though we know frustration, difficulty, or fear may assail your relationship, as it does to all relationships at one time or another, Please remember to focus on all of the right and all of the love that exists between the two of you and not just the part that may temporarily seem to be wrong. If each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your lives, your life together and that of your families will be so filled with so much love, abundance and delight. And now for the giving of your rings, for the wedding ring is that symbol of eternity. It is the outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond that exists between two hearts and endless love. Now for the exchanging of your rings, it is a token of your love for one another and of your deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul. So, okay. So Dick's gonna go first, so you can just, uh, so yep, you just set it on the table. Yeah, it's just a normal ring. Okay. So Nicholas, do you have a token of sincerity to seal the promise that you are making to Angelina? I do. Okay, so you take the, take the ring and put the box down. And as you place this ring on Angelina's left ring finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our love. As a sign of our love. And commitment to each other. And commitment to each other. I promise to support you. I promise to support you. Care for you. <laughs> care, care for you. <laughs> there we go. And stand alongside you. And stand alongside you. For all of our days. For all of our days. And Angelina, do you have a token of sincerity to seal the promise that you are making to Nicholas? I do. And as you place this ring on Nicholas's left ring finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our love. As a sign of our love. And commitment to each other. And commitment to each other. I promise to support you. I promise to support you. Care for you. Care for you. And stand alongside you. And stand alongside you. For all of our days. For all of our days. <laughs> please join hands. For Nicholas, do you take Angelina to be your loving wife, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. And Angelina, do you take Nicholas to be your loving husband, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. So inasmuch as both you, Angelina, and Nicholas have consented to be lawfully married and have sealed this promise with the giving and the receiving of rings, each to the other, by the virtue of the power vested in me, it is truly my honor and truly my privilege to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
Excellent. So now for the first time in public, I get to address you as Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas McFadden. Congratulations. We grabbed your bouquet and we're going to do a super awesome fake recessional because you're not going anywhere. So just hold hand in hand and you're just going to walk towards them. 